Hello, my crafty friends. Welcome back to my crafty desk. <laughs> Sandra here at Blossom and Inspire. I am um, working on my thank you tags still. So I'm kind of wondering, maybe if I do a couple of them now at a time. And um, I only have one ink. Oh my gosh, I was going to ink these around the edges. So I'm going to ink these really quick and I'll be right back. Now I have these ones left that I want to work with. Um, and I have florals over here. Is there one on here that I just wasn't, I think there was one on here. This one I think is the one I just really wasn't feeling the flow of that one. So I don't mind covering, not that I'm not gonna cover all of them up, but this one I don't mind covering up more than the others. So just let's get this, let's get her, let's get its dress on. That's what I, I feel like it's a dress. So let's just cut this. Isn't this pretty? Some of my friends here might remember a video where I showed this dress that I got at a on a at a, a thrift store. Actually, I haven't been to that thrift store in quite a while. Second Chances Boutique. I need to get back in there and see what she might have. Um, anyways, I found this dress in there and it was so cute. I'm gonna leave that long for a second. Um, I like that. Let's see if we have a flower that we want to put on here. If not, I have some images here in my tray. Some things that I found that I like, some pieces. So we can also do that. I've done that on a few things, haven't I? So just inking around it and putting something like that on there. And then a nice little word or saying that would work, wouldn't it? There's that one. I think it definitely needs to be a long one for me. And let's see. So let's just drop that down. I think I'm just going to go with it. Oh my gosh, look at that just razzle-dazzle. I love it. There we go. I think if I did anything, if I did any sewing, I would sew something first and then attach it to here, but I don't even know that I'm gonna do that. Let's put that back on and let's do some inking on here. This is really thin. I think I want something a little bit heavier duty. Let's trade, although, see, I like that purpley color. And there's that yellow. Let's see, we have that one, we have that. See, I don't think those are it, so we're gonna take those ones out of this little situation here. Um, and then grab some of these pieces here. See, that one's a little bit heavier duty. It's pretty pink. I like pink, but I, I want it to. I don't know that I want, I mean, that, that pink, that would look okay there to me. Um, I have some of these little cutouts. That doesn't do it for me. That one, no. No. Where's that pink one right here? I liked that. Here's some doily that I cut out. Paper, do um, a digi kit paper doily. Okay. I think that's putting it together a little bit better. Didn't want that color. Didn't want that one, that one, or that one. Here's some paper that I just was stamping. This is back here's um, paper pad. I believe that's paper pad and then I stamped it and then I punched it or punched it. Yeah, I stamped it and then punched it. Okay, I, I like that, but I don't want to for this one. Ooh, it's sparkly. Live the life you imagined. That's pretty, it's blue though. Does that matter? Do we just introduce that color a little bit more, some more blue or green? I don't think it goes with that razzle-dazzle, but I do like that. So, see, I think it's this color that I want, so maybe I'm just gonna go with that even though it's paper. Maybe I just need to, oh, I know, got an idea. Um, just gotta find it, just gotta find a part that goes with it. Um, let's show you. stuff all over the place here. Okay, so here, I have some paper. This is what I need. I need a backdrop. I need a backdrop for that. Okay, maybe it's coffee dye that I wanted on. Um, or is this, I think this is tea dye. I'm just 
gonna take those. I'm gonna toss those pieces, everybody, because they're just in my way and they're tiny. I'm gonna have more tiny ones in a second. So, like that and like that. I don't know if this is dark enough. Well, let's see if we can fix that. I mean, this is what I would do if I didn't have darker coffee dye paper. I would just work with what I have. So, whoops. And honestly, if I don't get to making some coffee dye paper, I'm gonna be running out. <laughs> so, of the, not running out of all of it, but just this, these specific ones that I like to use. Okay, I do like that. I don't think I need that bright white thing though, but let me see if I darken that up. Who knows, who knows? A little light. Whoops, jeez. Just like shift everything there, girl. Okay. Oh, man. Nope, it doesn't do anything for it. Okay. So, see, this is the part where I thought if I did sew anything, it would be this right here. And I think I just kind of want to sew one little edge. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just stitched my little edge there, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here. I think I like it. Um, and I also found this little piece of lace that's been floating around my desk. I thought maybe I'll put that there. I got the word sparkle, and I can put that on there since it's all sparkly behind here. I do like all of that. Um, I feel like this is a little bit plain, so I did grab my um, Dragonfly Glaze paint stuff whatever it is anyhow I don't have stickles or sparkly stuff or anything like that um, yet I will get it eventually but for now I have this and it does work and it gives me that like that iridescent iridescentness but I'm gonna shake it up and um, I think I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on here well well let's see what do I want to do I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it on here on my paper you know there and I'm just gonna use my finger and I'm gonna smear it. Where am I gonna smear it? On this paper? Maybe on the edges? Let's just see. Let's just see what I like. I like a little bit here. Just go for it. And then Yeah, I think you can really see the difference of the glaze. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through the whole paper here. There we go. If I would have thought about this sooner, I would have done it maybe before I sewed it. I don't know. I don't think it matters. So there we go. I feel like there has a little, little bit of that iridescent, iridescent -y look. I got some on my paper, on my thingamajigger there. So maybe I'll just go with it, go with the flow of it. Is it too sparkly? Oops, look, I got some on my sparkle, so I guess I go with there too. <laughs> uh, it's fine. I like sparkle, I don't know what the problem is. Okay, there we go. Now I have that, so what do I do? What do I do with my paint? I don't wanna waste it. I don't know, let's see how it looks on here. To be used at a later date, or to go into my, I don't know what to do with it stuff. Somebody else will know. Okay, yeah, see, I don't know, does the camera pick that up? It's like sparkly and iridescent. So, there. And now I'm sparkly and iridescent. So let me get that off my hand. And, oh my gosh, look at that. I'm gonna be stained for work, so. Nobody knows this is what I do, so they're gonna be like, what the heck, man? That's a little, I mean, like, Sandra, yeah, it's some heavy duty smoking nicotine there. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't smoke, I, but I do know that nicotine stains. Um, I used to smoke many, many, many years ago, but I don't anymore. Oh, yikes. 
Okay, so let's just get this down. We're gonna use this one here to stick down to that. Come on, be happy, be nice. So, so you kind of get the idea of what I'm doing on these. That some of them will probably have eyelets. I mean, some of them will definitely because we already made some. But I, th I think some of them might not have eyelets in them. They might just have ruffles, or they might not have anything. I'm just gonna really go with what it what I feel when, as I'm making them. But they're so fun to make. They I mean they're great for for me to use also as my ephemera for my books. But I really enjoy doing these and layering and making stuff. So I thought it just makes a great thank you. Um, I probably should, I did not do like a, oopsie, I just pulled that out. I wanted to, I was supposed to make sure I glued that part really good. So let's get back in there and just glue where I did not um, knot it. <laughs> I did not knot it. Nice, so I want to make sure they stay down. There we go, stay. I want to put this lace down here, um, like of that, and I want the sparkle to be on that to help that give it a little cute little backdrop. There we go, yep, perfect. So, I think, I say perfect until I'm not paying attention to my lines. Do I want it to go on that a little bit or just like right there and just the edge of it touching or way down here like that? How do I want it? I feel like it's so separated down here. But honestly, like when I watch the videos, I'm like, nope, you were right the first time. Why did you why did you second guess yourself? But then there's other times where I'm like, see, right there. I think that's what I want to do. Okay, that's what I'm doing. No take backs. Once it's down, it's down. I mean, honestly, I guess there's take backs. You guys have seen me just rip just rip my stuff up. Just rip it up. Okay. So aggressive. There we go, like in that. Did I just put that upside down? That's okay. I did. Oh well. All right, so I do like that. Yes. That's not gonna fold around, <laughs> but I do need to tack it down there. So I'm going to just, I want it to go off the side like that, you know, off the side of this thing to the thing there. Where did my scissors? And. So we'll just give that a little snip here, like that, and then a little extra glue there, a little tack. So they're both quite different, I mean, but they're very lovely. I like them. Yeah, see, I think this would be fine just like this or with a cute little ruffle up here. And I do like my ruffles. What do I do with these where I don't lose them? I'll put them in there. That's where the rest of them are. The ones that still that are done and need to be done. So let's do this one. Let's see what we have here. We can do. Um, let's find a back thing. Let's see. I really like this one. I like them all. This one right here. That's that um, the inside of an um, a security envelope. You know that you get like from your bills and stuff. I do like these. I do want to use more. I, this is the one that I inked up. It looks good with that one. Those colors look nice if it came through. No, it looks good with that one. Whoops. No. Nope. Not doing it for me. Oh, look at that color. That's nice too. Love. Why not? Is it this and this? Or is it this and this? Maybe I should just find one for this one too and do them both at the same time. Let's just do this one. All right, so I guess I do need to ink that one up too though, but do I? Maybe not as much. I think I'm gonna try something different here. These are hard to um, get in there without wrecking them. 
I think it's funny because, you know, this is Tim Holtz stuff. I, I'm pretty sure this is the Tim Holtz stuff I bought, the wall flowers. But um, I just always waiting for um, stuff to come, like, with the pre-inked, the pre-edged inked look. Maybe there is something. I just haven't seen it yet. But wouldn't that be nice for um, not everything, but some things. Like, these little things would be so nice to have that already pre-inked. Or that pre-inked look, like it's edged. And you can just add to it or just leave it but I just feel like his stuff is already like on that grungy side and I so that's a big you know one of the things that people are really drawn to at least myself I am a lot of my friends are so There we go, there we go, there we go. Like even some of the people, wouldn't they look cool if they were already like dark edged, kind of creeping in a little bit? And then, yeah. I think you know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna do that and then I really wanted just to put some lace down and not, and something that was kind of sheery, sheery and wide. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've got this right here. So let's try this and see what we can find. Let's see what we have in here. I have this piece right here which works nice. We've done this before, just laying the lace down. I, I, it's so nice, it's so easy to play with. Um, something like this, you get that little bit of, you get that texture, you get that lacy look that you like, you get that nice soft background for that, and you still get to see all the stuff that you did behind it as well, or most of it. So I do like it on there. I think I'm gonna just glue it first and then cut later, trim down later. Let me see about this one here. I kinda like that. I like that flower up there, or that way. Okay, I like that one there. Here's one, it's kinda like that. It's just not the shiny one. It's just a, um, a little bit softer piece. Yeah, I like that. Okay, and it just gives that little bit of backdrop. Okay, so that is done. That is taken care of there for the moment. Um, and I also have these laces that are like longer, so I can use them. Like I like to pull these for spines and stuff, but they may also play a little role in here. Let me see. Let's see what we have. No, I think I'm just covering it up too much. So, um, there are these colors right here, though, and I, I think I'm, I'm just gonna leave that out. I think it might be pretty on one of these with these pretty um, peachy colors. Like, like it fits, it fits it, doesn't it? Don't you think? Yeah, I kind of like that. Do it, just throw it down. Just quit second guessing myself. Do I need two of them? So it looks like it's like on top, like a big piece. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? No? I didn't think so either. Okay, let's see. We'll just throw that to the side. Stop forcing yourself. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this down here. I know, maybe I did waste my time. I, well, I'm not gonna say that. I did not waste my time because I like collaging and I use my stuff up. It did firm my cards up, so whether I can see it all or not, it's not a big deal. And that's what layering's all about anyways, isn't it? I think it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that down like that. Pull that down like that. And then adjust myself. How do I want these flowers to actually go? So because I'm gonna have a couple of the edges cut off, right? So I think I like that. That's up, those are down, uh, up, like, but see how they're kind of bent? I feel like they were growing down. Do you know what I mean? Kind of like that. Yeah, I feel like that's how they were growing. So let's do that. I like this piece up here showing. Um, um, dum dum. let's see. I just wanted some of that up there, not a whole lot, just a little bit. Like that. Okay. Like that. 
and I think I'm gonna sew around this one before I attach that flower. Because I don't want to sew the flower. Oops. Come on. I folded it over. Dang it. Where's my little st stomper thingy? Who knows? Oh, here it is. It's, it's underneath a bunch of stuff over there. Okay, let's get that down. I want to wait until it's um, all the way glued, but I do want to put the, this on there like that. I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to, I'm going to sew that one. And then this one. Get this down here. Do you know, do I even want that big one on there anymore now? I mean, I really like that look. So, there we go. Once again, do I need a smaller one? Maybe a smaller one. Is this like the same one? They're kind of... I feel like it's growing like that. I have, oh, you know what? I have, let me see. I have some mama, my mom. I can't even say it. Mama, 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 gummy, mama, gummy paper. Okay. I like that. Okay, I like that. I need a stain to go with it. That right there is fine for me. I definitely have to fix some stuff up here, but I definitely, 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 I want to do some sewing. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and cut some of this off all haphazardly and crooked and whoops like that so I can see some of that color there I like that I can always come back up in and trim this more if I need to later, if I feel like I want to. Okay, I do like that. Okay, whoops. I'll just tear it up. There, I like that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna glue this down before I change my mind again. Oh, oh my husband, he must have went on a fire call. I can hear his radio. He has to turn it up really loud when he leaves because he has to be able to hear all the stuff going on. And then when the stuff stops going on, he, he comes home and he forgets that he hasn't turned up loud until it goes off. Okay, there, I like it. Okay, I do like that. Um, I'm gonna sew around that one also before I finish it. Um, let's see, I don't know if I have any much time. Where are we at? I kinda wanted to get some words on them, so let's see, how about this? Let's get these taken out and see if I'm gonna like them. I'm not filling it for these, see? Not too shy. Oops. Let's see. That's kind of pretty on there, isn't it? Like that. And then we'll have her, however I end up putting that. I feel like I tore the edges to go that way. And that was what I was liking. And then. Okay. Let's see. I have fabric here so I can play with these. There's that one there. These aren't these these ones aren't my real wide ones, but I do have let me see. I do have this little stash right here. These are my scraps that I've been throwing them on top <clears throat> of this pile. I'll put them over on the other one. So I have these little pieces here. Suppose you can come back to the party now. No, 
mean, I'm going to cover up the whole thing, so no, I don't think so. Um, that's pretty. Okay. Nope. Okay. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to stick with the lace because I can see through it. And then I can add a little piece of fabric as a backdrop if I want to. See, I have these little pieces also that I have cut. And maybe these words are just not doing it. I need to move those. So sometimes I just have to change gear that way and go back to my, my little floral picks and then just make like a little, a cute little tag like that. Okay, there. Oh, okay, I like that better. Jeez. Cheese and crackers, man. Cheese and crackers. <laughs> I kind of like what I just did there for that one. Let me see if I can find another one that's kind of neat. Ooh, that would be pretty, wouldn't it? That's pretty. Actually, that is pretty, isn't it? Okay. There. The fight is over. For a minute. For a minute. Now, I can add lace to those if I want to. Um, let's see what I have. Oh, I have this piece right here. Oh, super long. Oh my gosh, flowers falling. If I want to add lace, I sure can. I mean, does, everything doesn't need lace. I mean, who am I kidding? Everything needs lace. <laughs> everything needs lace. I think that would be cute with some lace here on this one. So I'm just going to leave this here for a minute because I don't know what I'm going to do. I have this really pretty piece here. Um... Just trying to get an idea. I feel like I trimmed those two sides. This is a different size. Will it matter? We'll see. Mm -mm, I don't think so. Okay. There we go. Oops. Um, I, I don't know if that's going to be the right picture, but um, I was kind of thinking that maybe I would just do it like that and like that. That really blends together, but um, maybe this one here. Yeah, I like that. However, this one also needs that little trim too, doesn't it? Okay, well, dang, I gotta go. I gotta go. I haven't even eaten. I haven't taken my vitamins. I still have to go to work. What? So, I'm gonna leave it like that. I hope I still have the same thoughts in my brain when I come back from work. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Well, it's the next morning. <laughs> After work, we ended up doing some, we went, me and the kids went on a drive. <clears throat> Max has his permit, so he took us to the next town to look at one of our properties. I wanted to show them the place. It's a, um, we have to do some work on it. It's a vacant, um, one of the, it's a vacant rental, but it needs some work before it gets rented again. Anyways, so we went to go take a look at it and then just take some driving time and then drove around a couple of lakes and just had fun. Um, let's see, then we got home, cooked dinner, and um, we watched a movie and went to bed. <laughs> So today we're going to, um, Max and Ryan and myself are going to help Jason, their Opa. We're going to help him with, um, some of the work on the outside of the trailer. He just put a, cause he's, he's been working on it. So he's got a whole new front on it. So it looks like a house, um, the way he put all the siding on it and the strips of the wood, anyways, all the wood and everything in how he built the skirting on it. It's just really cute. It's really pretty, but um, he needs to get it painted before he paints it. We need to go in and caulk all the things. So the kids, said they would definitely help him. So I'm going to go out. I'm going to help a little bit this morning with that as much as I can. I don't want to overdo it. And then I'm going to come inside and make them a super um, healthy French toast breakfast. <laughs> French toast and eggs. Ryan doesn't like bacon. Isn't that weird? So weird. Okay, so here we go. Back here, this is what we left off with, so let's just do this. I wanna get these down, but I think I actually wanna just tack these fabrics down, and then I'm going to um, 
so these I think this is gonna be pretty 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 so I still like these fabric pieces on here I think that's what I need to do is just cut them down a little bit I just have a hard time um, sometimes seeing past what I'm looking at so when my fabrics were really big it wasn't I couldn't get past what I was what was in front of me I don't know I, I'm sure that makes sense to some people maybe to everybody I don't know my, my, th my logic my the way I think doesn't always make sense to my husband so I don't think it makes sense to everybody but it could be because he's you know a bit, little bit of a different species than me just kidding. <laughs> so I just want these down because my sewing is not um, I'm not the world's greatest sewer doesn't stop me though does not stop me I like that there we go and I'm gonna put this back over here because I do like that and then I'm gonna do this one This one here, yeah, these are pretty. I like them. I think they're, I think they're quite nice, quite nice. So, now I did like this. This is where my printer was like messing up, and I'm not liking those lines. I think my printer's messing up. I don't know. Sometimes stuff comes out good, and sometimes it doesn't. So I really don't know. Like I do all the cleaning and all that stuff, but I am also not a good printer keeper. Like I don't cover it. We have a dusty house, so like, oh. This is back in the day when I was working full time, and it's like, oh, well, if I buy a new printer, I can, but I didn't look to the future of, I might not be working full time all the time, and um, yeah, you can't just buy a new printer <laughs> if, you, if you don't take care of your stuff. Okay, I don't mind that now, so a little bit of that, a little bit of this, and a little bit of that. I have a new vintage photo. I think I'm just going to have to break down and open it because I'm tired of always like having to wet these I'm not tired of doing that I'm tired because I always forget to do that in the evening um, so maybe what I'll do is I'll just wet this one right now okay I have two or wait is that the one I want to wet I'm so confused now see I feel like this one's kind of new er okay we'll wet this one And then I will put the, I probably should um, put a little tag on it, huh? And then I'll just, so I know. And then we can use that one tomorrow or later today even. Okay, whoops, yeah. So I know I don't mind that so much. Um, I need to tag that, tag it. So maybe I'll just do this for now. And I can write on that later. I'll be like, why did I put that sticky note there? That's weird. That's weird. So I just want to put some things together on here and see what I'm liking. Um, okay, don't fight with it. Don't fight with it. That wasn't working. So I like that. Let's see. And we just need some lace. We always need some lace. Oh. I have this really pretty piece right here. Look at this, isn't that gorgeous? And this was a gifted piece. I like that, I like that. See, I love that background, just, just love it. I feel like that's kind of a heart though, do I? Okay, I'm gonna keep that one there. I'm gonna, oops. I'm gonna terrorize it a little bit here on the edge. There we go. Okay, and so I'm gonna go ahead and just like, just, just kind of just maybe do something. Whoops, I don't want fuzzy. I just want it like not straight. There we go. So I don't know what's going on with some of my videos. Like some of the things like I'm, I'm not seeing all the responses and I go and I look in the things that were like held for review and it's so funny because 
a couple of um, things are being held for review and I'm like, why? I haven't clicked not to, like just let it post. <clears throat> I mean, if it's bad, then keep it off. I've, I think YouTube will do that anyways, but if it's not, just let it post. <clears throat> so I go in there and check it every now and then and I find stuff in there. And, <coughs> pardon me, it's pretty early. I don't think all my parts have woken up yet. <laughs> so, <clears throat> but, so I'm trying to get those answers. So sometimes if you see that I answered you like five days later or two months later, that's why <clears throat> it didn't show up. Good night. Oh, that doesn't really show up there that much. Maybe this goes over there, the white on that cream, and maybe this goes right here. I really like these skirty skirts. They're so cute. Kind of liking that. Um, so for some reason, it just picks and chooses. Um, and it's funny because first it was one of my friends that, and it was like picking her stuff and I thought, what the heck is happening? And then um, I have to go on my laptop, I think, and change some settings because <clears throat> you have better, you have more access. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry for all my throat clearings here. Um, you get more options to change things. I just don't go on my laptop very often because it's so it takes it's so old and it takes so long to turn on. It's like it just reminds me of dial-up internet. Um, it doesn't make the sounds; it just takes forever. So, do you remember that? You would just turn your get your internet started, and then you'd like, oh, let me go start, let me go cook dinner while that thing is turning on. <laughs> Anyways, whatever. So the um. So one of my friends, it was like that, and it kept sending everything over there for review, and I was like, whatever. So but I, I found a button, and I don't remember where, I don't remember where I found it, but I found a button that said, I can just change it um, to always accept her stuff. And I was like, fine, that's what I want to do. And, um, so, <clears throat> so I don't, I want this over here, I think. That's what I want to do. Maybe I'm just trying to force this, I'm trying to force this together. Okay, so... She, um, now her stuff always goes through. Now it's doing this other weird thing and it's constantly, like not all the time, but quite a few times to Jamie. And it's saying that it, it always has like a translation thing on there. Like it wants to translate what she's saying. And I thought, no, I want to, I don't know how to read a different language. So please don't translate it. And I don't know how to turn that off. I don't know if that's on my end. It's so confusing. Anyways, now another one of my friends on here her stuff's getting sent to the um, to that area too to, to, to check for review. Send it to review, go look at it, make sure you want it to post. And so I keep sending it over there back to the where it's supposed to go so I can so that she can see and I can see and anybody else that's reading comments can see. And then um, when I respond, she'll see. There, there's that. So there's all that. So is, I guess it's just a way, another way to keep me on my toes, but anyhow, the um, then I found at one point my responses, some of my responses were being held for review, and I thought, is it like double checking, like, hey, are you sure you want to say this? And I so I read it, I thought, oh my gosh, did I did I have a typo? Did I have like you know like one of them chubby finger things and something crazy what happened? And nope, it wasn't that. No chubby fingers. So, I don't know. I'm still, I'm still learning. I'm still learning the whole YouTube thing. And um, <clears throat> so if you know, if you know, tell me, please. kind of like that one. I really want to use a sparkly one. I think it's cute. I want these on after I sew though, but I just want to get my pictures together. Okay, I have pictures here. Is that the, too small? Um, I don't know if anybody has noticed this about me yet, but I, I, I like pink. I seem to go towards that a lot. I like, sh I think, I, I don't really know if I have a style. Yeah, that's a little better. If I, what I like, but I, I know like even through like my whole life of like my house and stuff, I like things that are, I guess, eclectic, shabby, um, little, um, a little bit um, like vintagey. Like I don't have like one. Like you can't go in. No matter what room you go into in my house, there's not like one 
solid thing. Of, it looks like I had like a purple on that, but I'm gonna go just around the very edges with this vintage photo to darken that up a tiny bit. There we go, I like that. Imagine, so I like that, and I want it on there. Yeah, like that, maybe. Maybe down just a tiny bit. Maybe, okay, stop it. I'm trying to move the fabric. I glued the fabric, Can't, fabric's not moving. Fabric is not moving. I'm trying to decide, do I want this by itself? Do I want that on there? Does it do anything? This would be an afterthought anyways, but I'm thinking sometimes, you know, sometimes simple is, sim a simplicity is nice, right? It doesn't always have to be saying something, but you see, I see those lines on that. I think that, I think that's some of, maybe I'm not saving my images or when I buy stuff from Etsy. If anybody else has this kit, would you please tell me? Do, do you see lines? Because I honestly don't know if I'm supposed to see lines or not. Draw them up crazy. Okay, there we go. Okay, now the lines don't bother me so much. You know, hold the phone. Hold the phone. Let me try this. Am I gonna wreck this one? Should I do a different one that I'm not gonna use? I'm gonna take some sandpaper, so if you don't like the sound, just giving you a little bit of forewarning here. Um, I'm gonna sand this a little bit. I don't know if I'm gonna like this, but I'm, it's, I'm, I wanna try. Talking about all that vintage and eclectic, so. So I'm just taking it the other way also, so I don't have just one, lines just one way. Okay, there. All right, all done, all done. Now, now let's go darker on this edge. Sometimes it just needs a little bit more of an aggressive touch, I think. Okay. Okay, there we go. I am an aggressive touch. I'm like even the keyboards, I'm like, bam, bam, bam. Okay, let's see. Okay, I like that better. So, do you see that? Like, there was lines. Let me see if I can find another one that has lines in it so I can show you. See, here's another one. And see, they all have lines. Are they supposed to have the lines? I don't think so, but now can you tell? You can't, right? You see that? I think it's, don't, don't mind my stained hands, <laughs> but there you go. I like that vintage look. I hope you do too. So I'm gonna stick that back there. I like that. And then I definitely don't want a, if I put a word on there, well, I don't know what I definitely do or don't want, but I feel like if I put a word on there, that's now too crisp and clean for that. Not to worry, I have other things I can do, but you know what, let's see. I do love it. Okay, I think that's it, that's what I'll do. I'll take, whoops, I'll take it all apart. Okay, glue it. So we're gonna put a little bit of glue. I just want a little bit for now because I want to go sew and I don't want, um, there we have that. I'm gonna put, if I put that there, this, I might set that down again. That was like not fun to pick up. Oops, let me just rip this apart. So I really want more ink in there. How am I gonna do that? How am I gonna do it? Um, oh my gosh. Well, probably not with that. Well, maybe. This has got old glue. I forgot about it, and I, my water dried. So, oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Yay, stiffy to the rescue. Okay. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to go do some sewing. All right, so I did all the sewing. I, um, I sewed, I sewed around, whoops, let me get these off here. Sewed around them. Um, some I like more than others. I, uh, well, you know, it's okay. Sometimes I'll, maybe I'll have to keep it if I don't like it the way it turned out. But um, for the most part, I liked it. I also remembered I had two more tags. So I sewed around that one. I'm going to put that one, I think, on there. 
this one, oops, I pinned something there to keep it on there, and I, I think I like this. I'm gonna cut this piece off here, put that on. I got this one sewed around, and then I found some pieces, kind of changed them up a little bit while I was gone, and I, kinda, I like how this is coming out. And then this one as well, sewed around it and did a little stitch on the side there. And now we've got it. Now I just need to put these together. So let's just do that real quick because it needs to get done. These need to get done. Um, so that shifted when I did that. What I liked about this one is that it kind of was just taking the shape of a heart, but then I kind of like it like that. So yeah, yeah. Let's do some wonky, wonky. I like a little bit of wonky is good. Sometimes and sometimes not. So I'm just gonna drop some glue down. Kind of losing this lace here that I did, but that's all right. That's just the way it goes when you're layering, right? You just, it's part of the process, at least for me, I just don't know what's gonna happen yet. So I just keep putting things down until I like it. I think that's why I like jelly plate printing too so much is because it's the same kind of concept. Like you just keep adding until you, feel, until you like what you've got going. And just so I'm just gonna put all these down like so um, I will have to come back in and do a little bit of adjustment on gluing pieces down and then if I find I need to do another stitch here and there I will but I think I'm gonna compromise them too much if I do any much more stitching so I like it like that I think I wanted that up a little bit more though there we go yeah there we go so I'm just gonna get these on here as quickly as I can because my video, again, is getting so long. There. there, that's pretty. I like that one. And then let's do this one right here. So this is the one we sanded. I, I put some, putting some more lace here. So I guess I'll tack that one down there. And then I'm gonna put a line here. Oh, maybe I should tack that down. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was gonna uh, sew. Whoops. I just literally stuck my hand in that glue. Silly. I want this here. I wanna see a little bit of that edge right there, just a tiny bit. That's all I need to satisfy, to satisfy that part, I think, of me. And then I want that like that. I kinda want that tucking out like it's like sitting on the ledge. That makes, I don't know if that makes sense to anybody. Okay, so I want that one there. Some of these may not have words on them or sayings, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like they're done and they'll be in my stash and then I'm like, oh wait, I can do something right here. You just kind of see it later, I do anyways. And then, so like this, for instance, I don't know. I mean, I think I want it all the way across, but do I or don't I? I do. Okay, I do. Follow my instincts. I'm trying to tell myself, just follow it. It's just paper. It's just paper and scraps. Like, come on. Just be daring. Just be daring. There, I like that one. That's good. Okay. And then this one. Um, this one's, I pulled up this lathe. I had it glued down. Um, I didn't like what I did here on the stitching, but I, I mean, I like I like some, not all. That's okay. I'm gonna stick this inside just for some layering, and I want to use it up because I put the paint on there. And oh shoot, I should have I should have remembered which way I wanted that. I wanted some swirls out, I think. Oh well, we'll see what happens here. So I think I can spin it a little bit. I wanted to still see the stitching without. Um, I think it goes down. There we go. Well, there it goes. That, it, it goes down right there. You've seen it. And then I want this over here. So I wanted it over the other way a little bit more, I think. It's too late. Is it? Is it too late? Yep, it's too late. <laughs> it's, it's like thin paper. Okay, so this can go up there. Yep, let's just do it. You know, sometimes like I have to remember too if I make these too thick 
building them up because I'm just still not satisfied with what's happening. Like if I build them too thick, I can always change them into a journal topper or a folio topper or so, or something, you know, or a cup, some kind of thing. Show them a card up there. And then this was one of my little paper, um, wallpaper punches that I had. And I thought, that's nice. That'll give me another little bit of a layering thing. Yep, perfect. Um, nope, that doesn't do anything. Um, I just thought maybe another little snippet of lace, but just to pop it out a little bit more. Do I, I don't think that's going to do anything. So, see, I'm supposed to be done. How can you be done when you're not done? Okay, stop it. I'm just going to go with what I had. This is. I just wanted that little extra color I, on there, down there. And then I have my Imagine right there. Like that, that's fine, I'm, I'm okay. It landed there. There, and they all look different, you know, and I have, every time I come back, I look at them, I'm like, oh, I do like them. So I just need to not fight with them. This one, I'm still fighting with a little bit, but I think um, every time I walk away, I feel like it's just falling into the background, but that's okay. I mean, like it can be like a collage, right? Let it fall. Let it fall. I want everybody, but I want them down. My flowers are down there in the corner, I think. I want that like that. I found these couple of words. Okay, that's not it. That's not it. I think that's gonna be it. So let's just do that and we'll just take these words and put them over there for a minute. Um, do I wanna, am I gonna wreck it if I ink it? Cause I, I think I like that little bit of a white to pop it out, you know? Yeah, I like that. Okay, so let's just, I think I'm gonna go in the big, big part of it cause I know that's gonna be on there. And I know those little flowers are gonna be on there down here. And I can come back in. So I know I wanted them like this. I like that little guy there. And I want those flowers down there. Let's, let's over specific myself here. Okay, there we go. I like that. And uh, so I guess I can leave those open for now in case I want to tuck something in. And then that's going to go there. Um, does it need a little pick me up, you know, a little lift here. I don't know. I've got this little ribbon here, or ribbon fabric, piece of fabric right here. Nope, that does nothing. Um, that does nothing. That color that does absolutely nothing. And then I have this piece right here, a little florally piece. Okay, no, I don't think I need them. So, just go with what I had. Not everything has to be extra. I don't know. I mean, I guess it is kind of extra anyways, right? Oh, and it needs to not be upside down. <laughs> there we go. Pretty. There. It's so pretty. I always say that anyways. It's so pretty. I like it. And I love flowers. There we go. I mean, they still will have some sort of a topper. And I, I left this lace here. I trimmed around it a little bit. Left it kind of messy. So I do like that. And then I have this one. Look at me just going, rocking and rolling through this. All right much better. I'm going to take those and put those up there. Um, I still have all the little guys to do, but I'll probably just do those on my own. So this one I have, that's just pinned on there. I think I like that up there, but I want to sew it on. So, or I don't know. I want to, maybe I th I'm thinking actually about punching a hole and then putting a little button on there. So I need to keep that pinned so I don't lose my spot. Ooh. That's kind of where I want it. There we go, perfect. Then I found this fabric. That's where I got those little strips from. So I'm gonna stick that there. And then I was thinking that would be cute on there. And then I wanted a piece of this um, tablecloth uh, bedspread. I'm not really sure what it was, but I've already chopped it up. And uh, so let me just go here, cut these pieces out. Whoops, got 
I want this little star flower thingy, whatever, what have you. And I want it a corn coin of one to the top, like that. I want my rose to be that way. There we go, like that. Isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. Um, make a wish, isn't it beautiful? Um, I've got this one right here, beautiful. Nope, not, they're, still not, they're still not doing it for me. Breathe, nope, that's not doing it for me. I don't want to breathe, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no breathing today, and then I love, nope. I'm, okay, so I'm gonna take those out and just set them aside. We don't have to do it. Okay, so let's see. Get these little pieces off. So I just sewed that, I glued that little bit of lace down, I covered that tag, and then I sewed around the edges of the tag. And then I'm just gonna put this down, and I'm not gonna sew this fabric, I'm just gonna let it lay with some glue. There we go. And kind of like that. It doesn't have to be completely centered. If I do, if I completely, if I center it, try to center it I'd completely, then all my other little, you know, wavy things show up as not the right things. Okay, I'm gonna put glue on this. And then we'll look and see it with all the tags we did. We actually got, I think we got quite a few done. Um, there we go. I do have to come back and like finish tacking things down properly, so. There, and I just want that, I think right there. Do I want to up a little bit more? This is gonna go up. I just think like later on, will I want to put a word there? And if I don't, or do I want to put like a little rhinestone? Yeah, I think right there is good. That's a good landing spot. And I think just about every single flower that I started off with, that I was like, this is going to go, this one, this one's going to go here. Just about, maybe a couple stayed where they was, where I intended them, but most of them I think I moved around. There we go. And I want more down here than up there, so like this, there we go. Now, let's just see what we have. Let's get the black paper. So, we have this one. And actually, I came back and I like it. So, um, maybe I'll put another bow on there. I don't know. But there's that one. This one still needs a topper. Isn't that cute? And then this one, I still need to... I'm going to put a button on there um, or a cute bead or a piece of jewelry. Something's going to be on that topper. And then I do need to put toppers on these. Oh, and I need to cut the... Uh, the I didn't cut the side, did I? I never do this because I always think it's going to look funny. But... I'm gonna leave it. You know what? I don't know why why our tags can't be extended out. They can. I don't know why. Why can't they? They can. They can do whatever they want. If somebody gets that and they don't want it, they can cut it off. There we got that one. We have this one. And then this one I was gonna put a word on there, but every time I put something on there, I wasn't liking it. And I like that it's coming out of that little ledge. I think that's gonna be a later date. Maybe maybe it needs a bird or a butterfly. I like that one and a lock. This is one of the ones I found in my stash. So there's that one that we were doing, if you remember those. And then I have this one. This one I did sew around. I don't know if I ever showed that to you, but I that one. And then this one, maybe I said I wasn't gonna sew, but I, I want it to be sewn. I think I think it's just the finishing touch for the sewing part. But anyhow, I hope you enjoy these tags as much as I do. I can't wait to send these out to all my friends. And um, I can't wait to make more. Thank you for hanging out with me and crafting with me, my friends. I hope you enjoy all your moments. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.